In this class, uh, we are solving uh, YEC uh, exam question for May, June 2000, question 6. You can actually um, uh, take the full class, you know, by visiting jadosconsulting.com, you know, to get um, a topical teaching on uh, the topic uh, covering the question that we are solving today. You can as well uh, get my textbook or study pack, okay, is 7,000 naira per copy or 12 US dollars. You can sponsor copies or gift people uh, for 6,500 naira or 11.5 US dollars. So, uh, we have a uh, YAC May June 2000 question 6. It says the following information has been extracted from the books of C. Bintu. January 1st, balance at bank 683 naira. January 1st again, drill and cash check for 500 naira. January 1st again, bought for cash 14 model costs for uh, quotes rather for 282 naira. January 3rd, B and Luko paid by check 100 naira on account. Uh, paid check into bank. January 5th, sold for cash two costumes at 36 naira and 33 naira respectively. January 5th, are uh, paid in cash wages 72 naira and office expenses 10 naira. 9th January paid by check H ABA account 258 naira less 5% discount. January 10th cash sales to date 76. So we have uh, January 12th paid by check M Harrison account 300 naira. January 14th paid in cash carriage 33 naira. So we have transactions up to January 22nd. So uh, the question is saying you are required to prepare a three column cash book to record the above transactions. So basically it's a cash book and then remember in our class I told you that the cash book uh, there are very, just basic principles when you're making payments okay you're crediting that's for your payments that means you're paying out of the cash whether in check or in cash then if you're receiving uh, money okay uh, whether check or cash you're debiting so we can call the debit side what receipts but because the three column cash book when we make payment, we might receive discount. So we have to include discount receive column. And then when we receive payment, we might allow discount. So now we have to include what we call discount allowed column. So that is basically uh, what the three uh, column card book is all about. So let's uh, quickly solve the question. So we have uh, the name of the business is uh, Seeding to that's, I guess, super proprietor, one man business, whatever. So we have C. Uh, been to so we're preparing uh, what they call three column cash book for the month of January so we can have it this way okay so let's use the traditional method so we have here will be debit which is for receipts and then here will be what uh credits which is for what payment so uh in these columns okay uh, we're going to have date of the transaction okay so we have the dates here description sometimes some people use particulars we're just describing the transaction and then we have receipts in cash okay we have receipts in check that's bank and then whatever discounts that we allowed so here in the debit side we have date as well so we have uh, descriptions okay so here we have payment made in cash payment made through the bank which is check and then any discounts that we want receive so basically i already told you that your three column cash your cash book basically has the debit and credit debit is for what receipts uh, uh, credit is for what payment so basically because it's three column cash book we might allow discount or receive discount when we're receiving money we might re allow some discount or paying money we might what uh, uh receive what discount so let's solve the question so the first one said january 1st balance at bank so it means the business had some money in the what 
uh, in the bank. Okay, so uh, that is what we call uh, uh, opening uh, balance or what you call capital sometimes. So we can have uh, January 1st, which is 011. Okay, so let's say balance brought forward. Where is the money? The question said money is in the bank. So uh, balance at bank. So let's go to bank there where the money is, which is 600 and what? 83 naira. So the next uh, date, they say January 1st, uh, we have a uh, drill and cash check for 500 naira. So what we're saying there is that we went, since we have money in the bank, we went to the bank, took some money out of the bank and paid into what cash. We call this contra entry. You know, what I'm going to say is that uh, uh, we're having a, a, a transaction happening twice in the same book. So basically, uh, what we are saying is that uh, we are going to have to um, take the money from the bank, which is a payment, and put it into cash, which is what a receipt. So January 1st, uh, for the payment, which is January 1st again, we're taking money out of the what? Bank, Abby, 500. So we have cash. So the same January 1st, which is one, we're putting the money back into the cash. So we're saying that what we took money from the bank and then we paid into uh, the cash at hand. So basically, what we are saying is that what we withdrew money from the bank and then paid into cash. So the next one says bought for cash 14 model coats for 282 naira. So I will buy, that means we'll pay. So that's payment. So we say uh, January 1 again, that's the uh, purchases, which is what we call model coats so put it in cash so that means to go to the cash column how much is that the question says 282 naira so the next one which is january uh 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 third uh, uh, january third uh says a b aluko paid by check hundred naira so who is b aluko b aluko is paying c b so that means money is coming to the business that's january third so we have uh january third B Aluko is paying by check, so it's going into the bank column here. Yeah. Okay, uh, that is how much? A uh, hundred naira. The next one is January fifth. Uh, sold uh, for cash two costumes at thirty six naira and thirty three naira respectively. So we're selling two. One thirty six. One is thirty two. When we sell, they say we we'll receive cash. So that's receipt, and that's January. Uh, Fifth, so we have fifth of January uh, sales. What did we sell? Costumes. So we have one for thirty-three. The other one, that's both of them will be worth sixty-nine naira, and that is cash based on the question. So we have sixty-nine. So the next one is uh, January fifth again. Pay cash uh, wages seventy-two naira and office expenses ten. Remember, we're paying. That's payment. So that's January fifth. Uh, so we have wages. We paid wages for 72 naira cash. The same date we paid uh question says office expense for how much? For 10 naira cash. So the next one, nights nice. paid by check H Abbas account 258 naira less five percent discount. So my interpretation of this transaction is that what H Abbas account is 258, and that means uh, that's what we are owing him. But when we paid him, we we're paying him less five percent uh, discount. So that's a payment, and that is on the nine. Okay, uh, we're paying H Abba. Now his account is two fifty eight naira, but we're paying him less. Excuse me, two fifty eight. But we're paying him less five percent discount. So five percent is zero point zero five. So we can say times 0.05 so you are allowed to use your calculator okay use your calculator let's use our calculator here uh, so we say 0.05 times 258 so that would give us uh, that's equal to 12.9 so that's the discount that we received on that transaction so discount received there is 12.9 but basically uh, what we are going to record, okay, there are uh, as the check. We will say they say paid by check, H Abbas account 258 less 
five percent discount. Okay, so we have a bank here that will be 258 minus 12.9. Okay, that will be uh 245.1. Now, let me tell you something, it's also possible to interpret this question as though the money that we are actually paying uh, is 258 naira and that the, uh, what they call it, it is net of 5% discount. So in that case, if I'm interpreting it that way, it means I have to work back to get the 5% using my simple uh, 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 mathematical expression or, 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 or equations, okay, to get the gross amount. But I, I, no, let's just uh, interpret this question as a simple uh, 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 lesson. Okay, so we we'll say that what uh, the 258 naira is the balance on the account, but what we're paying, we're taking out 5% uh, uh, discount. So let's interpret it that way. Okay, it's, e it's much easier in practice, but let's interpret it that way. So let's move on. The next one says um, car sales today, January 10th. So January 10th, when you sell your receiving, so we have 10th of January, we have sales, but that's in cash there. Cash sales today that's 76 naira. Okay, so the next one January 12th paid by check M. Harrison's account. You paid by check when you pay by check that's payment. So we have 12th January we're paying M. Harrison. Okay, M. Harrison's account. Uh, M. Harrison's account we paid I'm on 200 naira by check. So that's bank. Uh, 300. The next one, which is uh, 14, paid in cash, okay. carriage, 33 naira. That's payment. Uh, 14th of January, we're paying what? Carriage in cash. How much is that? Uh, cash, 33 naira. The next one is 18th, paid by check, B Banjo's account. So we have 18th of January, we're paying Banjo by check. How much is Banjo's account now? 82 naira. That's check. So Banjo was paid uh, 82 naira. So the next one is 18th again. Gave H Abba a check on account 100 naira. So that's, that's another payment. So we have 18 January. So we're paying H uh, Abba. How much is that? Uh, question says 100 naira by check. So we have 100 naira. So the next one here uh, says. Um, was there uh, 18th again cash sales for the week that's money coming in 18th January sales cash uh, sales cash yeah, that's 190 naira so the next one there again is um, <clears throat> 18th again be down to pay 250 naira by check pay check into bank that's money coming in we have 8 January we have B uh, down to that's check uh, for 200 and what uh, 50 naira okay the next one 21st purchase for cash seven packets of office pin okay uh so one naira 17 uh cobble okay one naira 17 cobble so we have um <clears throat> uh, uh 21st of january okay uh, let's confirm the date uh let's confirm the date there Confirm the date we have uh, 21st of January. So we are purchasing uh, what they call it office pin. So we have office uh, office pins. Okay, they said one of the pin has seven office pins. One pin is uh, one pin is. One naira seventy cobble. So let's say one naira point one seven times seven. So that will be eight naira nineteen cobble. Is that cash? Yes, that's cash under cash. That's uh, eight point one nine. So the next one there is paid cash into bank hundred naira. That means now we're taking money from cash and paying into bank. So that's the same date to the first of January. So money is coming out of cash now. 100 naira so that will be bank so we have 21st of january again money coming into bank okay uh 100 naira so that will be what cash so 
Now we have uh, entered all the transactions. So it's now for us to what balance to know <clears throat> how to you know uh, derive the value that will be taken to the following month. So what do we do? We add up the total in the cash, add up the total in the cash in the payment side, <clears throat> find a difference. So let's go. So <clears throat> debit for cash now. We add up everything here. <clears throat> okay? So you can use your calculator. We have 500. 500. So we have for the cash uh, here, we have 500 plus 69 plus 76 plus 190. So here we have 835. So cash for credit. So the credit side here, what do we have? Uh, we have 282, 282 plus 72 plus 10 plus 33 plus 8.19 plus 100. So we have 505.19. So we have 505.19. So this is for cash. So let's do bank. Bank debit. This is the debit side here. Debit side, we have 683 plus 100 plus 250 plus 100. So we have 1133. So let's do bank credit. What's the credit side here? This is the credit side. So what do we have? Uh, we have 500 plus 245.1. Plus uh, 300 plus 82 plus 100. So we have 1227.1. 1227. 1. Okay, so I can see uh, that um, there's a bit of an overdraft here. Okay, but let's be sure. So for us to be sure, we can decide to add again. This is 683, this is 783. 783 plus 100 here, and that's 883. Okay, 883, uh, 883 plus 250. That's 113, okay? So let's go. So uh, for the cash, the debit side and the credit side. So we have 835 minus, 835 minus 505.19 okay um, that's 329.81 so on the last day which is the 31st of January we have balance carried down for cash which is uh, 329.81. So we have uh, 329.81. So the total in cash here will be equal to the total in cash here. This is 0.81. So total cash here will be 835. Here will be what? 835. That's for cash. So for bank, the credit side is an overdraft. The credit side is higher than the debit side. So we have the first January, which is balance carry down the difference. What do we have here? Uh, we are having we are having uh, we are having we are having. One two two seven point one minus one one three three ninety four point one. Okay, so it means here we have ninety four point one. So that means the total here is one two two seven point one one two. 27.1 so that means on the 1st <clears throat> of february you're going to have balance brought forward which is an overdraft for the business here 
to be 941.1. Then there's money in cash, 012. Balance brought forward for cash, uh, that will be 329.81. 329.81. So uh, this is the question. And this is uh, a suggested uh, solution for the question. So basically, this is a three-column cash book. It's just stating uh, transactions that were paid for and any discount received and transactions that uh, were received and any discount was allowed. So for the discount uh, column, we just add up. There's no need balancing. This is 12.9. On this side, there's no allowed discount at all, which is zero. So basically, this is uh, uh, a suggested solution for uh, what they call it, uh, a question six for May June 2000. So for three column cash book class proper, you can uh, visit jadosconsulting.com to take the classes. You can as well uh, get my textbook, okay, for a comprehensive lecture on three column cash book. If you have questions, you can drop them in the comment section or reach on the number display on the screen. Thank you.